Hi, you guys. Welcome to YouTube. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today is the new moon. Sidereal Astrology Scorpio, Western Astrology Sag. Jupiter and Pluto. Saturn is direct. Pluto is direct and in Aquarius. I'm here in global. Setting your intentions. Today is the darkest. Well, it's like the darkest point lasts throughout a matter of 72 hours or longer. But Spirit says 72 hours, so just go with the 72-hour window. It started yesterday when we did the channel messages. When you're in the constellation right here in this, the snake, the intention is you're going to release the south node and you're moving towards your future and you're releasing the old parts of yourself that no longer apply to you, right? You've learned all the lessons, hopefully, you know, and it doesn't really matter if you haven't. So don't be hard on yourself, you know? Seriously, being hard on yourself makes you be at the Nine of Swords and the Eight of Swords. And confusion is just literally a state of mind. You can choose to say, hey, I may not know, but I'm choosing to be happy anyway. I'm, I may not know my destination or what I'm doing today or why I'm doing it, but clarity is here. And you just sit down and you be quiet and stop telling yourself that you don't know anything. When you tell your beautiful mind over and over that you don't, you're clueless, you don't get it, you don't understand it, it's all a shit storm, guess what's going to happen? You're going to create that. So now with this new moon and fire, you're going to spark a new interest, a new style, a new wave of being in air and in fire. And you guys all know if you've been paying attention on this channel, what you're thinking and what you're mending. Here it is, the mend and the thinking. Fork in the road and breathing through it. Yeah, you got to sit down and breathe. You guys are my high vibers, my spiritual leaders, my spiritual teachers, gurus. Well, you guys, that's what you do in life. You know, you listen to spiritual messages. You take all the lessons, all, all of the stuff that you know up to now. And you use it for what you need in your life. The unfinished symphony. With this intention, I really... I want to implore you all to go do something today. To do something for yourself. Go be with people that you like. Do something that invites something new into your life. Do not sit around and sulk because it's a new moon. And if you're sulking and feeling sorry for yourself or, you know, just... I don't want to be rude, but it says, truth be told, the newness is here. Look at your, you're outside of the box. Your heart is so full and your gratitude is off the Richter scale. You know what you know. And, you know, it's, it's the thing. Truth be told. And you're learning. Oh my gosh, it came up again. It's right on the top. Listen to music. Go do something. Play your music. Play your song. You know, something is finished. That's what Spirit is telling me. It is finished. You're the one. You're the one. You guys are replaying an old story about being orphaned. God never gave up on you. Just maybe your birth family. 
the new moon here being flexible chopping wood carrying water and tapping into your divine feminine energy and receiving messages I am picking up on someone who is not feeling the vibe. Okay, you are not feeling it. You're not. You're just like, ugh, this is all dumb. This has all been for nothing. I'm hearing, where has my luck gone to? You know... Yeah, look at the orphan in the imagination. You guys, no one is going to fix anything for you. I know that by personal experience. Nobody can do it but you. You're the only one who can tell yourself that you love your life, that everything in your life is the only thing that matters, and no one is coming to save you. Because the universe set it up that way. There comes a point, apparently, in this message today when mending just doesn't matter anymore. The old way of doing it, and yeah, look at Orphan is still here in number five. Things are changing, changing the wind in reverse. It may be difficult to see the regeneration, the newness. You can't see the seed. It just gets planted. You don't stare at it, right? Isn't that, that's how the prophets speak on it. You plant the seed and you water it every day. What are you guys watering in your life? Thank you, Wisdom of the Oracle. Thank, thank you for sharing that. What are you guys watering? Boop, boop. Seriously. Come on now. I know it gets tough. But now I'm sending you a message. The Holy Spirit is... This is not the time to get all down on yourself. I'm going to get some angel cards out. And I want to share with you when things finish up or pile out or pile on you, all you have to do is say no thank you. I already learned that lesson. I'm good. Thank you so much. This is, these next three days are all about placing your intention about what you want, not about what you don't want. You've already been doing that. And don't worry if your mind sometimes goes to the worst case scenario. You've been programmed to go to the worst case scenario. That you're going to die, it's all going to fall apart, it's nothing's good, it's going to come out of nothing, blah, 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 all that trash. Three of swords. But you guys have to train yourselves to say, hey, you know what, thank you, that didn't work out, okay, bye. Your cutoff game needs to be strong, it needs to be. The thing is, you know, don't worry about cutting off. See, you think if you cut off, there's nothing else. You think it's just the end of the world when you cut it off. But it's not. It's not the end of the world. It's a new beginning. It's not. It's not the end of the world. It's a new. You get the opportunity to do something new. You know? Be artsy. Do something different. Enjoy your time. Be happy. You probably never had this time before. You probably never even knew what it was like to be out of trauma. You've been so traumatized. Lots of people that I pick up on my channel have been terrified. Horrified, manipulated, and abused. They don't even know what it's like to sit in peace. On the bottom today is the sun. Healing and good health and revelations. New moon intentions. 
The intention starts with your thought. High priestesses, remembering a time. Working with your divinity. Working with moon. The new moon is right here. Pomegranates are representation of wish fulfillment. A happy, prosperous, healthy womb life. It's wisdom and knowledge. The muse. An oracle. A pathway. This is a person who is spiritual, you guys. Someone who has inter integ in integrated the light and the dark. And working together, the dark and the light, all of that. This is a spiritual person. A spiritual woman. Okay. She's a woman. Here's a wheel of fortune. You guys are being gifted. An opportunity that was made for you. Are there many things around? Is there tarot readings? A chart? I just want to move it out of the way. Look, you guys, you guys are tapping into something here in this new season, new freaking era that is outside, that is forecasted. It's forecasted. It's made just for you. A high priestess, wheel of fortune, and three of pentacles. There's three people. There's some sort of like, um, let's just call it an energy that seems a little slick, that seems a little devious, maybe whimsical, devious. It's devious. It's a little bit of a stinker. Okay. Anyway, the three of pentacles here, working with others, you teaming up with others, other people coming to you, or you just working in a new group, or maybe you don't like working in groups, but either way, there's three people here and they're coming to you. Also, there is something here about the way that you guys uh, are inspired, the way that you have some sort of like wittiness, silliness. Uh, you're just not taking things too darn seriously right now. You know, this is, this is Sagittarius, Pisces and Cap, Capricorn, Taurus. And what I'm getting here is like a little bit of a tickle. Like something is like tickling your funny bone today or in the next three days, next 10 days. I, I'm not putting a, just the will of fortune is here and it's moving you in a direction, but something today is making you laugh at the world. It's making you see things different and see how, I don't know, like slick or don't take everything so seriously because everyone does. And everybody kind of has their intention, you know? You are kind of like laughing at that for whatever reason. I don't, it's it's weird. Look at, see a knight of swords here. Air energy. 10. 
Well, I know you guys are singing 1010. Also, you guys are turning your back to any kind of devious personalities. Let's put it like that. Ten of Cups right in the middle. That's very beautiful. And you guys don't want anything to do with people from your past. They're still Five of Cups in reverse, Two of Pentacles, Three of Cups. The universe is about to offer you guys something. It's going to make you happy and you're going to take it. Yeah, you're going to take it. It's coming in from your ancestors, your family. Five of Cups. You're not, see how I was talking about feeling sorry? Feeling upset? It's not working? You got to release that. You're moving towards happier times and don't overthink everything. There is a chart course here going you to the three of pentacles. I like the three of pentacles, but I do, I can't deny that there is a masculine person or some energy around you that is a little bit of a tricker, trickery. You know, a lot of people don't have time for people who are just coming in with BS. You, you have stuff to do. It's boring. Their antics are boring. Their, their antics are annoying and time-consuming and irritating and boring. Look at all the water. Again, I'm hearing the Sayonara Six of Swords. Eight of Cups, sayonara. I was like, goodbye. You know, if you guys are the kind of people who don't like groups, just say no. The lesson learned, the Eight of Cups and the Two of... Why would you go to the Two of Swords? From the Six of Swords. You guys have a decision to make around three people. Three people, three people, and an opportunity. Truthfully, you need to do something. I'm only suggesting, but the cards are saying, get out, do something. You guys might have been in hermit mode a little far, far too long or something like that. You need some sunlight or something like that. That's what I'm hearing. I'm like, it's very quiet. And you're not really digging what these people are saying. And then you're down here at the floor. Even though you've been inspired, you feel great. Your, your life is great. You're doing good. It's right here. There's this two of, of pentacles beneath that. Mind over matter. Be patient. You're not going to miss anything. Someone is bringing someone a cup. And then the three cups is right here. Six, seven cups. Ten cups. I'll tell you one thing. Spirit's telling me someone is refusing to see something. Acknowledge. What they did. 
They figure if they deny it, it just isn't true. You guys know what that is about. That's some BS, what I'm hearing. Five of cups here. Four of Cups. Someone is refusing. They don't want whatever that family or somebody's offering here. Well, I'm going to bless this whole reading. I'm sending the Holy Spirit to you guys. A king of pentacles and a two of cups. Look at all the water. Look at the love. There's a king of pentacles coming in with a love offer. You guys gave your love to this person before. The Archangel Raphael, the ancestors, your family. Hey, you guys, if you're unsure or you, you don't feel it or, you know. Someone's coming in with a love offer. This person cheated on you. In the past, they made a bad move. I'm going to get more on this. Three of Wands behind that and the Three of Swords and the Empress. They made a bad move. Like you guys offered or you were willing to work with this person. And now you're not so sure about working with this person. They did something that made you mistrust them or, you know, made you say, I don't know. I want to have fun with you, but up and down, the up and down thing. That's what that energy is. It's uncertainty. Maybe try to push that aside and get out of your emotions and be your high priestess. Do what is right for you because she's the first card out and then it gets confusing. And this person could have juggled you with three other women. But now they're seeing your value. Now they're seeing your worth and you're like, yeah, yeah, but you know, I'm doing good. I'm 10 of cups. You know, I'm feeling, I'm feeling really good. I, I've got myself stable again. You know, I'm hearing you guys talk to yourselves, which you should do. Your, your higher self, you know, but hey, I don't know, you know, it seemed in the past, it could have been a little sus, but you're sitting well, he's sitting well, very comfortable, he is offering, he wants to take your cup, Will you give it to him? I don't know. It's on the fence. You're not sure. Juggling. Three women. Three people. How about be their friend first? Your ships are coming in. That's why this empress is here. This, I was going to say movie. This is about your intention planting seeds the king of pentacles i love it thank you holy spirit for bringing that in planting seeds of stability okay so that's your focus what is stable what is solid what is real and what is just a passing emotion are you passing me cups are you just passing me cups or are you passing me something real 
something substantial. The King of Pentacles is a very wealthy man. Come on. So you guys have to be discerning about a relationship and groups, three-party relationships, groups. But this is joy, happiness. Be friends. Tidy, tidiness here. Be friendly, be, be friends. You're a psychic. You can't, I, hey, I've had a reading on new psychics before. You can't just be with any regular Joe. Regular, you're not regular. Just a good time. Just, just know it's just a good time. You're just going to go and have a good time. And then you're going to go home. You're going to go somewhere, I guess. You're going to get invited somewhere. You might really like it. You might have fun. But see it for what it is. You're a high priestess. Wheel of Fortune, Three of Pentacles. I like it if someone's offering you, um, you know, stability, King of Pentacles. But be stable in yourself. No one's going to come and fix anything for you. Four of Cups. And this person... They might be offering new stability. Now. I don't know. But that is, that's the Four of Cups. A man is offering you love and stability. Ten of Pentacles. I mean, uh, Ten of Cups. Three of Cups. But there is a waiting period. A wait and see. A 90 days, maybe. Timing. Three months. Be friends. Oh, my. The Empress. Three months, new start, strength. Who's that, you guys? Mr. Firepants. Stability. Stability, stability, stability. That's what I'm hearing. You want... Stability, and you're not going to do pretending. Two of swords, two of pentacles, two of cups. Are you guys seeing two, two, two a lot? That's a six. That's your cup is completely full. Everything's balanced. You moved on from the five. Anyway, the intention here is to have st stability, to tap into your high priestess energy, your will of fortune, and to equally share your gifts, your side, your views, your potentials, your creativity, and enjoy your life. Three of cups, three of pentacles, ten of cups. The intention is to have stability. Empress energy, creativity. Three of cups. Three of pentacles. Sorry, I was pointing to three of pentacles, but I said three of cups. Somebody very close to you. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. More Virgo. More Virgo. Lilith energy. The intention is stability. Four of Cups. What a sucky. That card to me is giving me the energy of just you're not going to accept anything less than what you deserve. You also have 
a lot. Three of Cups, Three of Pentacles. It's a little confusing. Someone might be confused as to why. This king. Why, why, <clears throat> why you even rejected them to begin with? You just weren't feeling it. You were trusting your intuition for all the right reasons. The Nine of Swords is here. Anyway, I'm trying to stay focused on the intention of the new moon. And some other energy is wanting to pull you in the direction of accept this, accept this, accept this. And remember, the Four of Pentacles is, I mean, the Four of Cups is luxury. It's, sta it's stable. It's stable emotions. You feel satisfied at the Four. And yet, somehow, there's more. King of Pentacles. And he's bringing the Two of Cups. Or he wants to work with you, but this is a loving connection. A healing, healing, a love connection with the Archangel Raphael and the Caduceus, the snakes. Wisdom and knowledge. Someone likes your wisdom and knowledge as well because the Empress. Oh! Deval. What? 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 Oh, God. Is someone doing some black magic here? The trouble with taking on too many cards. That's what I'm hearing. All right, you guys. Well, something is coming out of the shadows regarding a codependent relationship or making a decision. It could be a family as well. And making sure that you guys... This is a test, too. Gosh. Oh, a lot going on here. Out of nowhere. Satisfaction. The devil... You have choices. Remember that. That's what that four of swords is. You're being tested. And this was an old partnership. But what does this have to do with the new moon, you guys? Maybe you should just let them apologize. Don't do anything weird during uh, Mercury Retrograde. You guys are going to be tested. Oh, man. You're always being tested, aren't you? The devil is tricky. I knew there was a tricky energy here. Wants you to see. Wants you to stay connected. You don't, the chain is loose around you guys' necks, though. This is Capricorn. King of Pentacles, Capricorn. You guys know a Capricorn for sure. A Libra, a Pisces. You know, this person, they love you. You guys had a family with them once before? The devil. He's offering you something. Two of cups, ten of cups, four of cups, three of cups. This is a very complicated life situation. Somebody who broke your heart, three of swords. It's like bouncing back and forth like this, the two. 
you know, if you guys are happy, stay happy. Because I feel this situation is very confusing. This person never knows what they really want. They might have that problem, the grass is greener thing. <laughs> oh, man. What's up with this uh, Capricorn card here? Oh, you guys, this is a past soulmate lesson learned. Trying to play tricks on you. This is an energy you've already dealt with. So, it's a test. I actually want to get out of this energy because it seems to be folding back, you know, to, to happier times that weren't happy. Where's that other card? You guys know what I'm saying. Gosh. Yeah, somebody is trying to offer you a cup from the good old days. Boy, you're going to have to really resist. Ten of Pentacles and a King of Cups. <sighs> this is wild. So Knight of Swords, Five of Cups, Ten of Cups, and Four of Cups. And it's the King of Pentacles, the Devil, and a High Priestess. Excuse me, the Empress. Yeah, you guys, it's one of those days where you're going to have to say no. Find joy in the small things for a while. Work, work privately. Because the devil is here. And there's magic being played on you guys. You guys, uh, yeah, somebody's being manipulative. The empress is very, very tricky. They're very, very tricky. You have a will of fortune here, you guys. A really good start. A, a real good new beginning. And there is a devil, a demon, or a, you know, a tricky situation. A Capricorn man. This is a Capricorn man here. Bullshitting you. Don't believe it. You have real love coming. You have real love coming, Pisces. You need to see the truth. And don't be naive during this Mercury retrograde with this new moon in Sag. You need to say no. You must say no. This will of the will of fortune is leading you to something really positive your own work your own identity your own ten of pentacles and there is a demon here seven of swords see how i mean how they're sneaky it's hard for me to decipher effing five of swords eight of swords see eight of eight of pentacles they want you to believe In your mind. Boy, this is a real sneaky. Look at warning, judgment, the high priestess. You just cannot be tricked by this little effort here. Whatever that is. It's the seven of swords. It's the five of swords. Look at you. In the middle of the card with the Ten of Cups, you have the Magician and the Ace of Cups. Your ancestors want you to plant seeds of joy and happiness and renewal. The 
this offer is coming from a king of pentacles, a Capricorn, a lover, a soulmate, a demon. Is it good? Is it bad? I don't know. Does this demon love you? Does this man love you? Yeah. But he's cheated on you a million times. Left you for dead. You learned this lesson. You need to move on and stay moving on, queen, to calmer waters. Look at, you're closing out a cycle. You need to stand up for yourself. There's your ten of pentacles. And you know what's sad? Is you wanted this with this person. I don't want to pull any more cards because I know what it's saying about this relationship. Because now you're the high priestess. And now they want you back. Now they see your value because you see your value. Will you guys be tested this week or today or something? Yes. You need to stand your ground. That devil is a real tricky one. He hasn't left. He's just looking, prying. You need to chart a new chart, a chart a new territory. I really don't like it. This person juggled you with three other people or more for a long time. You had to like get out of this energy before I even started the video. I was picking up on somebody who just didn't even know how to get out of it. Didn't even know how to forgive what they didn't know. They just, it was a feeling. High priestess energy. Earth angel energy. Temperance and the hermit. Someone who holds a title. You hold your own title. That's all I have to say. F that Capricorn. In F that person. I don't care how much money they got. It is never going to make you happy. Because there's, there's a demon within them. I don't know if they have drug problems or what, you guys. You have to say no. I'm going to get an angel card here. You guys are coming in first and foremost as the High Priestess and the Empress today. That's the only thing. You want a family? You want a good life? You want a beautiful, sweet little life. Look at you, all high vibing and stuff, Ten of Cups. And now this person wants to come in and try to, like, persuade you. Patron of the psychics and the students. Clarity, psychic protection, inspired curiosity, intellectual communication, an aha moment. <clears throat> Here's the lovers. Angel of divine partnership, number two. I clear mental fog and doubt. And bring psychic insight to your awareness, spiritual and scholastic benefits. So, soda light, May in the month, and stay positive. And the number 34. You have leadership. You have skills. You have a calling. The royal fixed stars. Uriel, another number three, you guys. The keeper of wisdom and inspiration. Guidance. A title. Spiritual title. Spiritual ranking. People who have a platform. And there's the eagle. Zeus energy. Getting information from God. Sparks of inspiration. I give wisdom to solve complicated. I told you guys it was complicated. Complicated problems. Help you find solutions for challenging predicaments. Wear a Ruby Tuesday something better. Yeah, don't settle. I told you. 
Thank you. I'm glad I brought these out ahead of time. I knew it. Metatron is here. The angel of divine presence. Miracles, powerful change, Akashic records, Akashic records, the, the wisdom keeper, sudden shift, spiritual growth, hyper-focused. They want you to focus on the past. They want you to juggle. They don't want you to be happy. You know, demonic energies don't want you to be happy. Ruler of virtues. They want you to cling to the past. Pisces. Miracles creating out of nothing. Solutions. Reverse hopeless situations. Intervention. You're not hopeless. You're not helpless. 2026. Three months. Oh, God. I'm sorry for yelling again. I just told you guys that. I just said that. You got to trust Archangel. You guys need to tap into Metatron. Metatron, Metatron. You're a magician. Did I not tell you guys six? Here's Taurus and Venus. Serene, reassuring, creative, love, sensuality, reflection, psychic ability. I help raise your vibrational frequency, Ten of Cups. Moonstone, Friday, developing romance. You have a new romance coming. What's going on with this three over here? You guys got a period of three months here. Who is this? $10 million? $9 million? Four? Stop it. Spirit is bringing you in. Test of the emergency broadcast system. You're not doing anything. Angel of unconditional love. You show everybody unconditional love. Angel of divine partnerships, divine love, twin flames, peace and union. I picked this up yesterday. You guys, Holy Spirit's coming in through again. That's a no on the four of cups. Say no. Stay in your happiness. You're a psychic. You're an intuitive. And you guys are coming into some understanding, a knowing. You're being guided. You're being guided in this new generation, this new thing. What is that? Page of Pentacles. Look at all the earth. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. If you guys know or see this message, right now you don't know everything. You're being guided. It's going to be revealed. You're being guided. You're being guided. You don't know yet. You're being guided away from the old. And you're you're gently being nudged into the new. And you do have to say no to whatever demonic energy or whatever little demon or whatever whatever this is. King of Pentacles. <sighs> Somebody wants to steal your energy. Somebody, you need to sit. Something's being made fair for you. And this is either a divorce or you've already been divorced. And this is a king of pentacles. And he's disappointed. And here's the ace of cups again. This is very hard to decipher. That's why you have to sit in that energy up there. It's not easy. It's not easy. The spirit is screaming in my ear. It is not easy. You got the hardest test because you got the biggest wins. I'm talking to a Pisces who's dealing with a Capricorn. A high priestess. Metatron is here. Um, Archangel Uriel is here. Keeper of wisdom and knowledge. You have, you have major miracles coming in. There's a sneaky, 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 sneaky. Look at what came, look at what came for her. 
Why does this sneaky demon want to take your new start? What you've already worked on. What is all that darkness back there? It's your past. It's the two of pentacles. It's a lot of darkness in there. I don't know. I wouldn't want to go in there. It looks a little scary. What is all the darkness in that building? What is all that? The high priestess? The King of Wands. Lessons. You guys have to shut a door. I don't, it's just, it's the unknown. It's the void. There's nothing there. The dream state. Four of Wands and Four of... It's the Void. Man, that's... So, whatever you're building, you gotta really sol be solid. Be rational. Work. This man is working. Don't don't pay attention to whatever these two knuckle buckles. I don't know who this priest and this woman is. What they're bothering you about. But the devil is right behind them. This demon, I'm telling you guys. The spirits just told us. The angels just told us. You got to be on your guard. Rebirth number 22, giving yourself a second chance. Man, you guys, this is intense. This is so intense. Rebirth, giving yourself a second chance. Don't settle, darn it. Don't. Whatever is for you will be for you. Don't rush anything right now. Learn, grow, build, build, and build. This is about building. Metatron, you're under some sort of spiritual guidance. Look at what you guys have all around. You have the, the uh, high-ranking official. The t you hold a title. You're supposed to do a life path here. The hermit, that's why you're in hermit mode. You have the things closing out. You have the will of fortune. And you have the three of... Pentacles, sorry. It's so confusing. It's hard for me to sit here and just even pick, pick, pick. Stay to yourself and embrace your newness so that you can really like let it sink in. Let it absorb into you and dispel all the other. Does that make sense? I know, it's esoteric wisdom. Number three, number 14, three, three, three. I cannot get over that the keeper of the wisdom, the inspiration, the vision, prophetic vision, plan, plan, plan. You guys know when people are planning right by you? Resilience 21, finding your limits. This fire energy is going to be wackadoodle. Oh my God, my beautiful queen. Sir Lancelot being glorified. Again, my beautiful angels, harmonious in action. See, don't do a damn thing. Don't do a damn thing. Why am I talking like that? You guys laugh your butts off at this girl here. Independence. You have to be independent. <laughs> You have to be independent from the devil. You know, be for me. Own it. You own it. Own your own life. Own your own territory. Own your own happiness. Be the best you can be. You're a winner. You're always going to be a winner. Don't go back to the Capricorn. Eight of Cups. Nine of Swords. Nightmare. Nightmare. 
ruler of virtues. They want you to cling to the wall of fear. But you have holy angels are here. They say the hell, the demons are here. I'm loving these uh, gemstone whisper deck right now. It's a hard court. It, it gives you hard lessons. But we're here for it, right, you guys? Because we're tough as nails. We've come too far. We're not giving up on anything. Stop it. Get the obsidian out. You're some sort of transmuter. To the well-organized mind, death is but the next great adventure. Die. Die. And be reborn. The judgment. Malachi. Reserving judgments is a matter of infinite hope. Okay. You guys know how to say that? Please feel free. The fool doth think he is wise, but the wise man knows himself to be a fool. And the fool was in here today twice. And one more. I love you guys. Truth. A Mazenite. But better to get hurt by the truth than comforted with a lie. Most definitely. Any day of the week, please. Bring it. Agate, fresh start. As long as I am breathing in my eyes, I am just beginning every single day. Never going back to the past. Not doing it. Emerald and citrine. Have a great day. I know this was kind of a weird read. You guys, I know it. But with this card coming out, it has you must reinforce. Reinforce your rebirth, who you are now. It's very important with this fire. My Pisces, my Sag, my Sage. Walk as if you're kissing the earth with your feet, always and forever. Independence, number 19, carving out your own path. Who is watching you guys? The dragons? The dragon world? This is all fire. Lord of the Rings. Why am I just like, this is reminding me of Lord of the Rings and... The army that was forged from the mud people. I don't know why that's coming up. I'm letting you guys know. It's crazy. But you guys are this. This is like this energy out of this. I, I'm serious. It's like that black hole down there. I don't know what that is. But it's freaky. It's scary. You guys have been there. You guys have been there. I know you guys are like, wow, galactic, you know, but this is, you know, death and rebirth. Pluto, I don't know. We, I got to do research on this. This is so amazing, this obsidian. This energy this rock i i'll tell you one thing i wouldn't jump into that dark hole not me that's not for me i wouldn't do it <laughs> i don't know i don't know you know you guys maybe you guys are braver than i am shoot Wisdom and asking questions. Okay, God is going to take you guys on a journey down to the depths of somewhere. And Metatron is going to guide your path. You guys are... I thought we were talking about the new moon... Init uh, not initiation, the new moon freaking... I don't even know what we're talking about anymore, you guys. You're a psychic. The halls of to stay positive. Well, 
Well, that's the message. That's the message. You're a high priestess. You have a new path that you're charting and you're coming out of... You guys know how to die and come back. Hey, this could be someone who actually had... Spirit's like, whoa, wait a minute. Some just epiphany over me here. Angel of compassion. You guys might... Uh, you guys might have a gift about reading past lives and... Not just that, metamorphosis, shift in consciousness, light codes, peaceful change, and aid in ascension with your higher purpose. Follow your intuition, obsidian. Something happened in October to you guys. You done did it. Keeper of the Akashic Records, number seven. Sagittarius, and here's a key. I got to get out of this energy. So in the darkness. In the darkness of the night. In the nighttime. I'm telling you. You guys are going to find. Shamuel partnerships. I'm telling you. You guys are going to be blessed. Like you do not accept the old. No. Nope. No, 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 no. Tranquility. Harmonious in action right now. Yentl. Angel of mental force and calmness. Battles depression. Five of cups in reverse. Number three again. Aquarius and Pluto right here. Not making this up, you guys. Right freaking here. Do you see this? Tech support reveals lies, stops overthinking, and clarity. Remember when I said your mind was too busy? Calm the L down, ladies and gentlemen. Because they send you crazy energy. Guardian of the gates of the east wind awakens love, enlightens, brings joy, identifies fears. Listen intently. Okay, there's a lot going on here. But what is most important is that you guys stay in this vibrational frequency your ten of cups stay there be there because you guys um have some sort of gift regarding death and rebirth you might be a birth mother you know you might work in um the hospitals helping children come through but also um death you know passed on loved ones But not just that. It's you guys have come out. You've seen the unseen. You've been there. This obsidian is just like sitting on top of this green grass. But it holds keys. It holds mysteries. It holds wisdom about going into different realms. Something like that. I'm telling you, that's what that Three of Pentacles is. People might come to you and ask you, hey, can you go into the dark realms? Or that could be um, also wickedry. Sorry, that might not even be a word. You know, where they go into dark places and do bad things. Someone has a lot of money. <clears throat> 10, 10, 10. Look at you guys. I am not making this shit up. Death, Ten of Wands, and Ten of Pentacles. Ten, ten, ten. Death. Do you know that everything that people do bad to you guys? I'm I'm not leaving till I'm leaving. Anything that anyone does bad to you guys, <clears throat> it's going back to them. All of it. I mean literally. Anything they fired upon you, anything they said about you, anything they did to you. Because you were too innocent to even, you were innocent. These dragons, uh, can, this whole gang of fire, these bad dragons, you know, wild dragons or something like that. I gotta go. 
this is, you guys are going to think this is just bananas, but I think you guys are going to get it. I think you guys are going to understand it, whoever's listening today. But the high priestess, I asked for clarification before I got into this other realm, this other dark realm. And it said that you guys were tempered. It said that you had a will of fortune. It said that you're closing out cycles. And it said that you're coming into some divine gift and that you are holding the light for others around the world. And in the high, the high priest was here. That's that's what it said. And you, these are all archangels, you know, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and and uh, Leo. The new moon. So, if you guys are alone right now, it's with the real dang purpose. It's a purpose with divine order and the Akashic records, and you guys are readers. You guys are translators. You guys probably speak a whole bunch of different languages. That's what Spirit's telling me. A lot of stuff. Shoot. Just more than one video can handle. Like a whole incredible life. Like a whole incredible... Look at you. You're fine. Look at you. you got your own dragon. Your own kingdom. I know it sounds crazy. Just telling you what Spirit said. And and look at this dragon. Wants to rattle it up. That demon. They've done it to you a million times. Something is solid as an obsidian rock. Maybe do you guys hold obsidian in your hand and like get visions? This reading is so cool. Go get your obsidian. You guys are going to have a new adventure. You, you've had a rebirth. You're a psychic. You might never, never have known this. You know, connect with Archangel Uriel. Connect with Archangel uh, Sadriel, Uriel, Metatron, Annual, and Nail. Lone Wolf here. Number six, Taurus, Venus. You guys got a team of archangels. Really, really focus. Meditate. Love yourself. Enjoy your beautiful little life. Chill the L out. You have everything that you need right now. And if you don't, you will. But you have to access it easily. I mean, um, boy, spirit is not letting me leave. Um... Wisdom. Go go to the darkness and ask. Don't be afraid of light and darkness. That's that's a lie. Don't you don't need to be afraid of the dark. That's where that's where life and death happen. This is very intense. Can freaking knowledge. Giving yourself a second chance, a miracle. You guys probably need these stones. These stones are all very intense. Also, before I go, you don't have to tell your life story to nobody. None of their business. God knows and you know. You know your life path. You see what I mean here? How dare they? They cannot hold a candle to you. Somebody's bringing you something. You, know, you got a shield. You got a whole team of... of uh, you guys have been... And, and did I say you might have had an experience like that where you died? Literally died. Went somewhere and came back to life. You went to the void at some point in your life or, or, you know, it doesn't have to be that intense, but it could be. I don't know. I feel like you guys are going to probably turn your hair pink or magenta. So tripped out. This is what this new moon message is about. You coming into your high priestess energy, clearing your mind. 
you know, and some other past guy, Capricorn. I said it already. I'm not going to start repeating the whole story again because, gee, I had a hard time. Like, it was like very sneaky energy, you know, sneaky. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? How are you going to do it? Well, you're not going to do nothing. You're going to sit. You're not going to do nothing with that person who's already been driving you bonkers with their crazy mind tricks. You know, anybody who acts like that, kick them to the curb. Seriously. You don't have time for that in the new world. Does that make sense? Always ready to slice and dice you. This guy's annoying. Whoever that Capricorn fella. Not the angel. Wow. Anyway, you guys get it. Have a great day. I don't know how long this thing was, but oh, it says 111. 111 on the message today, you guys. Twin flame action. All right. So have a great day. Enjoy the new moon message. There'll probably be more after this. All right. Thanks, you guys. Bye.